The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management is conducting rapid damage and needs assessments in affected parishes to inform the authorities on the assistance to be provided in the aftermath of Hurricane Beryl. The hurricane, which passed Jamaica's south coast with Category 4 intensity, caused significant damage to property and the road network. Communication services have also been disrupted in several parishes. Local telecoms providers Flow and Digicel have said less than 40% of their services were impacted by the storm. Acting Director General of ODPEM Richard Thompson provided an update on efforts to gather information. We're trying to get um, information as to um, what is happening in the, on, in the ground. Um, I think there are, there are some issues, but we're working through those, uh, pulling in those information to, to inform the the. the the, the process um, and and so based on some of the information that has come in is that the Clarendon uh, Man- part of Manchester and most of so St. Elizabeth was, was probably on the top list in terms of impacted parish. Don't, don't trees and those stuff in like um, some person using water tanks and those stuff. Um, Portland, St. Thomas, uh, KC, which wasn't so bad. Mr. Thompson says the all-clear for the start of restoration of services will come after the lifting of advisories by the Meteorological Service of Jamaica. Well, it's difficult to say that right now because the, the, the all-clear comes from the NEOC, mm-hmm. but the all-clear processes are for this kind of event. It's a meteorological process. Mm-hmm. So we take that um, critical assessment in terms of the situation, the forecasting from the meteorological service. Mm-hmm. And, and so all of that is being done and we are trying to know, move that as quickly as possible mm-hmm. so we can inform IA offers to where we are. So, so that's, that's basically where we are and there's a number of things that we are doing now, pushing, pushing, and pushing along for that. But we do, want, we do understand the criticality, so, so that, is being, that is being done. Acting Director General of ODPEM, Richard Thompson. He was speaking today on the morning agenda on PAR 106. And Hurricane Beryl devastated the breadbasket parish of St. Elizabeth yesterday, leaving damage to critical infrastructure and property, including schools. Member of Parliament for Southwest St. Elizabeth, Floyd Green, says based on reports received, it appears no community in his constituency was spared. Tough morning. Um, constituency was tremendously hard hit by Hurricane Beryl. Um, lots of devastation all the way from Flagerman through into parts of Treasure Beach, Billy's Bay, Blunters, down into Newell, um, all the way across to Vineyard, Allington, into Black River, mm-hmm. and across over to Middle Quarters. All communities. To be honest, I've had reports of damage, large roofs being blown off, houses being damaged, trees down, pulled down from every single community thus far. In fact, I've had multiple people who've indicated that they've completely lost their houses. We've had reports of schools being damaged, Black River Primary, Sandy Bank Primary, um, Pija Plains Primary, Anglican Church in Pija Plains that I was in on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. For the graduation, I've had a report that a part of the wall has collapsed. Member of Parliament for Southwest St. Elizabeth, Floyd Green, speaking today on Radio Jamaica's Hotline program. The Black River Hospital has also suffered damage to its roof and walls. And TVJ reporter Dwayne Anderson provided an update on Clarendon. So as you indicated, I am in Clarendon. I've been in in the parish from yesterday and chances are I'll be here until tomorrow. And that's simply because of the sheer magnitude of the destruction and damage in this parish. I wouldn't be surprised if the authorities, based on their assessment, declare this parish or at least parts of this parish a disaster zone from the central part of the parish starting in and around maypay that's the parish capital down to the southernmost tip of the parish in rocky point and portland cottage destruction is overwhelming people are crying literal tears they cannot bear the loss that they've experienced between last night and this morning their roof of their houses are gone they've lost animals Many of them tonight do not know where they're going to sleep. And so many people who were not in shelters last evening will be spending this evening in shelters. I spoke earlier with the Minister of Labor and Social Security, Colonel Charles Jr. And he indicated, just based on his own early assessment, hundreds of homes in about three communities in the southern part of Clarendon have been either totally damaged, totally destroyed or damaged. A lot of communities are still cut off cut off by fallen trees and debris which have reduced 
some roadways to single lane traffic and in some instances you just cannot get to them the light and power company jps will also have a massive repair and restoration work on its hand on, on their hands i'm counting dozens of light poles totally flattened i've stopped counting but at last check i was about at, at about 30 light poles totally flattened i've also been told the prime minister is intending to visit clarendon sometime today but persons from the clarendon municipal corporation they've been also doing their rounds in the parish and they are making attempts now to deliver supplies to the people reporting from clarendon i'm doing anderson for radio jamaica news and the western end of the island also felt the effects of beryl with tourism properties and even historical sites suffering damage our reporter Kimberly Petty gave us an overview of the situation out west. Well, it is early days yet here in Westmoreland. We're seen following the aftermath of a burial where some damage has been done to the Manning's School in Southern Lamar, where their library would have got uh, shaken up. And we know that that is a historic building for the school, which was started back in 17. 17- 38. Heading on to Nigril, in, still in Westmoreland, we're seeing where the western section of that community, tourist hotspot, there is some damage that has been done to um, West End, particularly down to where Rick's Cafe would be, because we know that those properties are closest to the shoreline. Over in Hanover this morning, we witnessed where residents in Orange Bay uh, teamed up and decided to clear the debris from the street and also in their communities. Um, they, we witnessed them with power uh, chainsaws and machetes as they decided to help the authorities whom they say have their hands full. But it is still early days here in Westmoreland as we continue to traverse the thoroughfare. There is still a lot of down trees and we will give you more update as they come. But also to add that the digital and flow networks are down and in some sections of Negril we're seeing where some hotels are currently out of water. So the NW see has impacted some form of business here for hoteliers crews are trying to get to areas most in need you would imagine that it will take some time because the streets are littered with down trees and debris from the hurricane it has been difficult traversing the roads as we try to get to various points most communities are without electricity and a similar situation exists in hanover and St. James. That report from Kimberly Petty. The National Works Agency says it is committed to having roads rendered impossible due to Hurricane Beryl reopened in the shortest possible time. Communication manager at the NS- NWA, Stephen Shaw, says teams are spread across the affected parishes to gather information, additional information on the impact. Mr. Shaw says there has been a challenge with getting reports from the southern parishes of St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon and Westmoreland due to connectivity issues. And I believe the connectivity issues are linked to the the power outages that we are now experiencing because much of the country is without um, JPS cost service at this time. As I said, based on the the damage to the roads or the impact to the roads by falling trees, of course, some of those power lines would have been impacted by trees falling. Communication manager at the National Works Agency, Stephen Shaw. He was speaking today on the morning agenda on PAR 106. Mr. Shaw says preliminary reports have revealed that the majority of roads that are impossible have been blocked by fallen trees, downed power lines and poles. Yesterday, the NWA reported close to 50 roadways deemed impossible and a similar number reduced to single-lane access. Mr. Shaw says blocked roads outweigh reports of land slippage. The National Water Commission says at least 70% of its customers are without regular supply due to high turbidity levels as a result of the passage of Hurricane Beryl. Acting Corporate Public Relations Manager Delano Williams says several systems were also shut down ahead of the hurricane's passage. Mr. Williams says efforts will be made to restore water to critical areas such as Trelawney, St. James, Hanover and Westmoreland and to bring all systems back online.
the Roaring River system continued to operate, but uh, the Logwood system would have gone down overnight. So we are working assiduously to get those systems back online. And of course, along the southern coastline, uh, Spanish Town would have been impacted somewhat daily yeah. because the Rio Cobra again was in speed, so we had to shut down. Uh, but we were serving to a, a, on a reduced level through the storage systems that we have. And we have a number of storage systems that have been complementing and boosting the system to provide relief to customers. But once you get to Manchester St. Elizabeth, there is, uh, to a large extent, a lot of shutdown. Acting Corporate Public Relations Manager at the NWC, Delano Williams. He was speaking today on TVJ's Small Jamaica program. And teams from the Jamaica Public Service Company have started to conduct damage assessment in affected communities. So first opportunity we got um, to go out, the teams across the island are out on the ground doing physical damage assessment to know, and this will allow mm -hmm. us to know where they, the problems are, how bad the damage, the different elements of the system um, would be, and where we can do immediate repairs. So this is a very important right. first step. Director of Corporate Communications at JPS Winsome Callum. She was speaking today on Radio Jamaica's hotline program. The Norman Manley International Airport is to resume normal operations tomorrow while Sangster International reopened at 8 o'clock this morning. NMIA is expected to reopen at 5 a.m. President of the Airport's Authority of Jamaica, Audley Diedrich, told Radio Jamaica News that due to the damage to the passenger pier at NMIA, it will remain closed today to implement corrective and interim measures. Before the hurricane barrel came, we did advise that immediately after the hurricane has passed, we would have done an assessment of the state of all the airports and therefrom to announce the opening times for the respective facilities. Based on that same plan, all those inspections took place mainly this morning because the system endured for much late last evening. In the meantime, Mr. Diedrich says Sangster International did not sustain any major damage to prevent a reopening. But they did have other systems issues at that facility in addition to cleanup operations. And so while they would have opened much earlier today, they are now scheduled to open at 5, 6 p.m. this evening for regular commercial service. But however, according to their note um, that will be published, they will accept between now and that time other types of flights, such as private flights and other uh, general aviation type activities. President of the Airports Authority of Jamaica, Audley Diedrich. Meanwhile, Mr. Diedrich says the Ian Fleming International Airport in St. Mary and the three domestic aerodromes, Tenson Penn, Negril and Ken Jones, have been in inspected and despite minor damage to structures in some of these facilities, the runways and terminals are fine and in order for operation. Those facilities reopened at 7 a.m. today. The AAJ is advising passengers and other stakeholders in the travel and tourism industry to stay tuned to the announcements by the respective airports and their airlines regarding the recommencement of operations and flights. Now on the heels of the passage of the Category 4 hurricane, Jamaicans are being told to brace for increased rainfall beginning Friday and going into the weekend as a tropical wave is expected to move across the island. The Met Service says showers and thunderstorms associated with the tropical waves wave is expected. Meteorologist Romain Robinson says the tropical wave is east of Hispaniola and is moving westward. So we expect it to be moving into the Jamaica area sometime tomorrow and passing across the island by Saturday morning. Because of this, there is in the forecast an increase in showers and thunderstorms that's expected across Jamaica in the afternoon on Friday. We do also expect some showers to continue into the night and morning, especially across sections of southern parishes. And for the afternoon on Saturday, more clouds, showers and thunderstorms continue to affect most parishes. Even in the midst of the storm or in the immediate aftermath of the storm, we still do X and Y.
No, 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 no. <laughs> but you're supposed to do the little boy buck him to a thing too. <laughs> the cue is uh, much <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a cue for you? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, look at, look at your, look at your broke into a sicker who, burial. We're done with burial. Burial gone. But, but, I don't know. Tata burial. <laughs> Tell me something. <laughs> Good, you, bye. You, you were around during Gilbert. Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. My first hurricane. But most of us, well, my generation, didn't know much about Hurricane. We always hear about... Charlie. 51 Storm. Yeah, 51 <laughs> Storm. Yeah, they, they, it was, it, they didn't even tell us the name. Yeah. You hear about 51 Storm. Yeah, it was in, it was in dance on music too. 51 Storm in the Storm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we never know anything about Hurricane. We never mm -hmm. see a Hurricane until uh, Gilbert. I was dying to see Gilbert. I but, cannot forget. When they, we had a forecast and they said Gilbert was coming and I had on a little, little pink skirt. You know what the <laughs> skirt then will flare up? Yeah, go meet Gilbert. And go to the yard. <laughs> little Pitney. Gilbert! <laughs> them say I come. Well, you had a date with Gilbert. If I come, come now. <laughs> My granny said, Little Pitney, go sit down. <laughs> you know where you asked for? Go sit down because she saw, she saw 51 storm. Yeah? Yes. So she mm, and I had it, and that was something. That Gilbert, and I had Ivan too. Work through Ivan for the entire but hurricane. After, but after Gilbert, mm -hmm. we, we've been having hurricanes quite frequently. Quite, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Dennis. I want to follow Dennis. It wasn't me. <laughs> Wasn't me. It was not Emily. <laughs> Dennis then Emily. <laughs> yeah, Miss Cora reminded me as well. We had Grace. There was a Grace. Yeah, called Amazing Grace, whatever she was. I don't remember Grace. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember Dennis and I remember Emily. Mm -hmm. I remember Dean. And Dean. I remember Ivan. Ivan. Mm -hmm. I remember Nicole. I don't remember Nicole. Yeah, there was Nicole and, and um, Katharina. Katrina. A, a Katrina. No age. Mm -hmm. No age. Katrina. Katrina. Right. Mm. Have you seen the list, the names for the others coming up for 2024? Mm -mm. That's what, you, you, where did you see it and why you have to go look on them? It's, it's something, you know, everything is available now. <laughs> yes. But, but guess what? <laughs> them have a hurricane day. <laughs> hurricane named Patty. Oh. <laughs> 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 I understand why you, you have to go look. <laughs> no. Seriously. <laughs> Them can't really carry a hurricane named Patty come to Jamaica. Uh, with or without cocoa well, bread. Well, you know, really have to worry. It's Patty. So eh? if that one is coming that to Jamaica. That's going to be hot. Yeah, hot. Hot Patty. Hot Patty. <laughs> so eh? there won't be any need to worry. No, man. Uh, no, party. all Patty lovers just eat Patty. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no. I suppose very soon them going to ask if it's Devon House. Mm -hmm. you mean if it's tasty, uh, juicy. We have Devon House party. What? You never had a Devon House party? I know they make party over Devon House, but, but it's not really like a brand that is selling no, on, on the market. That's what I call it, party from Devon House. Oh. Yeah, Devon House party is <laughs> what I call it. One of the greatest tastes ever. They have curry goat party. They have shrimp, lobster. Over Devon House? Over Devon House. And the shape is different. It's sort of a, a triangular shape, the way they fold it. It's beautiful. You get real, real good chunks of meat in the Devon House patty. Nice. The only patty I like is peas. Peas patty? Mm hmm You ever had that? No. Who makes that? There was a, there was a place in Santa Cruz that was paradise patty. Mm-hmm. They made some great peas patty. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of peas patty. Peas, what yes. Red peas are gungo peas. Red peas, red peas. I don't think I love peas that much to go have a peas patty. No, but it, it tastes nice. And it's it nutritious. They have pigtail in there? No. They must call stew but peas patty. It wasn't stew peas. No, no, clearly it's not stew peas. It's just peas, you say? It's just peas. So I don't think I'd fancy that. 
You would if you tasted it. Oh, God. Anyhow, you taste them patty there. Peas patty. You get hooked. You still a make? Paradise patty is no longer in Santa Cruz, from mm. what I... But, but I'm not so sure if anybody else is making peas patty. I'd like to try that if you say it's that good. It, yeah. Perhaps some of these party companies should start making peace parties because they are mm. making all kind of party. You have kalalu, you have chicken. Aki. You we have, have aki too? But you have aki loaf. Somebody had a nice aki loaf. In fact, when I was pregnant, I remember desperately wanting an aki, aki loaf. And I don't think I had it. <laughs> you know what comes to mind? Mark, now? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but I already had a mark. <laughs> Mark II. <laughs> Benz. <laughs> no, no, no. Funny, funny. Well, is, 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 is that a fact? It, it happens, no? If people mark for sure? Yes. Absolutely. They have people who, you never see people who want a piece of pork skin yet. And they don't get it. And wherever them scratch by the pitney. The, 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 a mark like a pork skin come out with all the hair on it. Or liver. You literally see the mark on the body like a liver. I don't know how it's explained in science, but I was it's about not. To, I was about to ask how, how, how mm -mm. you'd explain that now. Mm -mm. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, people say it does. So if you, if, if, if you want... Whatever. If it's, I go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the co mark would look by the person. <laughs> I've never seen it, but... It's real. <laughs> but so it depends on where you scratch. Mm hmm <laughs> Around the body. So they tell you, don't scratch, don't scratch, because it can come out on the child. <laughs> Happens. Happens. Anyway, but, but, you, how you feared for Beryl? You know, I was quite okay. Mm -hmm. I, I I watched the, the, the trees dancing <laughs> and... Uh, and howling. The, the howl was crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. So I just take down the earnings and ensure that they were properly fastened. Before the hurricane? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And while it was blowing and huffing and puffing, mm -hmm. I was just watching. So nothing happened. Mm -hmm. uh, after a while, the power went down. Home sweet home? You know I have a home sweet home? I do have a sweet a home you have, sweet home. You have oil in it? And me have me oil in my lamp. Oh, wise virgin. And me, and me have me oil in my lamp. <laughs> I'll leave some more oil in my lamp. Yep. But you never had to draw for that. I, I didn't. Yes, you know, I did. Oh, nice. But, but I was able to do something other nice. than that. That nice. made, made the place a little brighter. And you, you slept in comfort. I did. Very I did. Good. I was able to use the fan still. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Tell the people how you clean the home seat home lamp shade now. What do you use? Oh, land and all. So, a newspaper, I know. So good. It was newspaper? Yes. Gleaner. But, but gleaner, know, we call newspaper, you know. Gleaner. Yes. Everything a gleaner. <laughs> and and you have to be very careful mm -hmm. when you're cleaning the shade. You have mm -hmm. to take it off gently. Mm -hmm. Your hand can't too big, f so it can't go down in there. But why did they make the, the, the material? The, the it's shade, thin? Oh, the shade out of that material. What, what's wrong with the material? It's like if you blow on it, it break. You ever broke lampshade lamp shade dead? Of course. You drop out of me and I broke. But a piece of beat me almost again. <laughs> and cousin. You can't <laughs> broke home sweet home lampshade, DT. I've never broken one. You? Mm -mm. You have to see it and wish it well. Walk far from the home sweet home lampshade. You didn't clean it? I remember doing it. They, they, they used to ask us to wash it too, you know? Yes. Wash first. But the thing that cleans, just like your mirror. You see some people use the Windex. A Windex? N yes. Or whatever cleaning Windex, yeah. liquid they have. For me, nothing cleans a mirror better and than a piece of cleaner. Yeah? No, man. Paper, Damp it. Paper towel can work. To I'm not using paper towels. So <laughs> I won't even know that. Paper towel work with the vinegar. Try the vinegar with the newspaper. Make it damp. <laughs> just make the, make the paper damp. In fact, if you don't have vinegar, just use plain water. Beautiful shine on the mirror. Well, 
we normally use the paper, newspaper, still call it newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, Gleena. Gleena. <laughs> <laughs> to, to clean the, 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 the windshield. And it works well. I've never used it on the windshield. Yes. And mm -hmm. the way you see spots and so you just damp it a little bit mm -hmm. and rub it. What do you use to remove the um the tags, that certificate? You mean the registration? The registration the thing and all them something there. Because I have a lot of marks on my windshield. What do you use? Uh, if you have the kerosene oil, you can use it. But I usually just scrape it off with um, razor, blade? razor blade. A long time, you know, see razor blade, you know, and it look like a long time, you know, see one too. <laughs> Then can't make the money out of me. Can't make the money out <laughs> No. I've not seen a razor blade in a long time. So I'm to sit and just use it to scratch off the windshield? Yeah, 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 yeah you can scrape it off. But then I think the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol can assist you as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you spray it on it. I'm after you scrape try. it, after you scrape it, yes. You spray mm -hmm. it on it. I rub it with Gleena? Yeah, I rub it with newspaper. All right. <laughs> I've got that. I'm going to try that and let you know if your experiment works. Yeah? <laughs> so for the rest of the hurricane season, if you don't have a home sweet home lamp, sh lamp and lampshade, probably should get one because... But where are you going to get that? really now? do need it. I don't think they'll have the home sweet home, but they will have lamp they'll and lampshade. Yeah, they do have lamps. Find it. But that one that was branded, home sweet home, mm -hmm. the shade. Mm-hmm. I don't think they have that. No, they won't have it. Uh, they have some nice lanterns and sort of flashlight things. Work with battery or the ones that you can charge up. Rechargeable. They're really good for keeps. Shine bright like any electric bulb. Diamond? Probably. 